All right, let's go and take a look at this one real quick. Um, main important thing I want you guys to understand is when doing this, remember x minus 1 is x minus 1 times x minus 1 plus 2. When you're squaring something, you're basically multiplying them by each other. Please do not do ever. Okay, You cannot distribute a square across addition and subtraction. You cannot distribute powers across addition and subtraction. We'll be going over that later again this year. But just remember, when you're squaring something, that means the quantity multiplied by the quantity, right? Twice. If you're cubing it, you're multiplying the quantity by itself three times. Um, so now you could use FOIL. I showed you guys also how to do the box method. Um, so I will let you guys do that on your own. I will do it in my head. I obtain x squared minus 2x uh, plus 1 plus 2. So when I multiply those out, that's what I obtained. I'll have you guys check your work on your own. Then we have 3 times this, so we apply distributive property. So I get y equals 3x squared minus 6x plus 3 plus 2. Then I have my two terms at the end I can combine. So my final answer in standard form is right there. Okay. Does that make sense or not sense?